early. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer into Reaction. What I'm looking at today is the trailer for Goodnight Mommy. And this is an interesting movie to me. Not interesting enough that I want to see it, and I'll explain further. My issue is that, as I've said before, I don't like unnecessary remakes. For instance, oh by the way, I should also mention as an aside that Goodnight Mommy is being released by Amazon Films. The same shingle that released the remake of Suspiria. Now, I didn't like Suspiria. The thing of it is, I thought that it overly complicated a relatively simple movie. And so, I wasn't a fan. Though I also need to give that another chance. But at the same time, at the point in time that I saw Suspiria, the remake, I wasn't a fan. Goodnight Mommy is a remake of Veronica Francis and Severin Fiala's 1914 movie of the same name. It revolved around a woman who, I don't recall the reasoning for it, but she had a surgery on, done on her face. And her two twin children didn't think that it was their mommy anymore. It was a very weird, subtle, but creepy movie. Particularly those two twins. Really odd looking little boys. And so that movie for me worked really well. And also France and Severin directed The Lodge, which is a really, 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 did I say really? Good movie. If you haven't seen The Lodge, check it out. It is very good. And Good Night Mommy is a step towards The Lodge in my mind in terms of their development as directors. So to hear of Goodnight Mommy being remade, I don't quite know what to think of it. Though, I read something where the director said that it's gonna approach it differently. And I don't know what to think about that, to be totally honest. Ideally, it should be different. But at the same time, it obviously can't be so different that it's not clear that it's a remake. So it's a really hard line to tow. And to be totally honest, I'm not at all sure it should have been remade in any case. Though there's one issue which I think is illustrative of the problem that I've been implying strongly. Look at this image from the original film. Now this character was just called Mother or Mutter in German. Take a look. Now, look at the same character in the remake. Notice something? Namely, the character in the remake, even in bandages, looks a lot better. And this bothers me a little because it's, for me, a clear Americanization of something. In the original movie, the way she looked had a purpose, and it fed into the, her children's delusion that this is not their mother. In the remake, based solely on that picture that I just showed you, it looks too good. It's too neat, and I'm not a fan of that right off the bat. Does that mean that the remake of Goodnight Mother won't work? Of course it doesn't. It could actually be great. I have no idea. But on the face of it, not liking what I'm seeing. In any case, let's look at the trailer, the official trailer for Goodnight Mommy. Say anything. 
I was hoping this could be our little secret. What do you think? What do you think she looks like under there? House rules. No running or shouting in the house. The barn. And my bedroom. Off limits. Don't you think something's different? our mother. Well, that was the trailer for Goodnight Mommy, and I gotta admit, it's an effective trailer. And it seems to be changing the emphasis of the original movie. As I mentioned earlier, the two boys in the original movie were not at all sure that that person was their mother, which is shared with the reboot. Though, the two boys in the original movie were inherently sinister. It's like, imagine Damien from the Omen movies multiplied. These kids are really creepy. These two children look a little more wholesome. And the trailer strongly implies that there is indeed something very off about the mother. And with the original movie, you don't quite know what's going on with the mother as well but it's a lot more subtle. And she doesn't do a lot of things that are that weird. It's just from the perspective of the two little boys that the mother is perhaps not their mother. So I gotta admit, I'm interested. It appears different enough that it's interesting, yet it doesn't seem to jumped the shark in terms of its connection to the original movie. But what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail Into Reaction. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.